39 candidates is the fact that I joined not because I want to gain fame or because I want to be able to prove something to myself. It's really because I want to be able to help other people. You know, um, growing up as an adult, I always make sure to be able to help my sisters to be a good example of them. And that's why I joined Miss World Philippines because I want to be able to inspire children to grow up in the same difficult circumstances like me. That, you know, they're passionate to define how far they should get in life. And that they can always achieve anything that they want as long as they work hard and they put their hearts and minds in mind to the team that they perfect. That's the easy question. It's the hard question. Uh, I've covered pageantry for so many years now. And in every pageant where there is a candidate with a celebrity connection or showbiz connection, the expectations are very high. Like in this batch, yeah, there are four of you with showbiz connections. But yours is the most prominent. In your name alone, you're carrying Mula. And you've been a singer. And you're the most with uh, the girl with the most name recall. Does it pressure you at all? Yes, it does. It really makes me feel very pressured, but I use it as an advantage and being pressured because it motivates me to work harder. Um, for the people who don't really know what I've been doing in preparation for this pageant, I'm very hands on. I really make sure that it doesn't matter if I'm from a woman plan. But it's really the fact that I need to deserve the Miss World Philippines crowd. And I'm doing my very best. I'm doing my best. And I'm really doing everything that, um, that is required of me in order to deserve that Miss World Philippines crowd. What if, for example, right now you're sitting in front of Catalina Rodriguez? Oh, what will you tell her? Or how, what kind of wish will you give her in the competition? Because like, Catalina is the flag bearer of the other cup, you're the flag bearer of KF. I'm putting it right there. Now. Um, I'm actually um, very honored to be in the same batch as Catalina Rodriguez. I've, I've met her once and in the in the beauty pageant. And I really wish her luck, not just her, but all the other girls in Miss World Philippines. I think that this is an amazing batch of women. And instead of being threatened by her, I really, um, Overwhelmed and in awe of the amount of successful women that is in this pageant. So I really wish her good luck, just as any other candidate. And for the easiest question, do you have enough time right now? Not the Mahuala. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Norman and Sir Nolly. So we have Erwin from. Pageant Press Society. Hello, Ms. Alisa. Okay. My question is, um, with so many pageant media bloggers who are present here, in every other, in every pageant blog or pages, they have their hat picks. So how does this hat picks affect you as a candidate for this work? Um, well, I've been seeing a lot of hot picks for recently, especially actually it's from the start of the pageant. And personally, I, I think it as a compliment when I included in the list of the top three, top five, and the top list. But for me, uh, it doesn't really it doesn't really matter if people be like you deserve to be in your number three or number one. But for me, I would just really do my best and to show the people and to prove that I deserve the best of the crowd. So. Since you are one of the luckiest candidates who will be who will gonna be performing for that talent, how, the, how is your preparation for that? Um, I'm preparing very hard for it. <laughs> yes, I I have been taking voice lessons, and we won't have to compete for this talent portion because the girls that I am with in the in the talent um, qualifiers, they're very very good and very talented. Thank you. We love your badge. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We, we have Francois Diaz from Pageant Night Philippines. Adam, would you like to do to this first? Hi, Alex. Hi, sorry. I'm Adam Hernando from Sash Factor. I would just like to ask, where are four titles in this world Philippines pageant? 
Uh, I would like to ask which title are you having in the books and why? Yes, I, I really want the Miss Pro Philippines 2018 around. Like I said earlier, I believe in their slogan, which is beauty with a purpose. I think that I can prove to the world that I am um, the perfect example or that I can embody what it means to be beautiful and to have a purpose at the same time. Since you said you said yes, how do you feel that pageants like Miss World are always are being looked down by a lot of people nowadays because they say well, specifically the feminists and critics, both, both, of, both of these groups say that these um, pageants, you know, objectify and commodify women. How um, do you feel about them? Yes, I would tell them that beauty pageants actually help empower women in several ways. First, it's beauty pageants give a platform to these women who come from different backgrounds to promote their advocacies, which allows them to be more engaged in solving the issues in today's society. Second, it highlights not just the uh, beauty and personality of a woman, but also the heart and the intelligence of a woman. And lastly, I think that beauty pageants also give an opportunity for these women to gain experience, which will help them grow and develop as women in today's society. I see. Um, you've got one of the most pretty but one of the prettiest faces in the pageant in this year's edition. Do you think, um, on hindsight, do you think that being beautiful will get you far in that? Um, personally, I don't agree with that statement. I think that beauty is actually, well, the, the way people view beauty nowadays is really more of the physical aspect, but I think that true beauty really radiates from within. So if you have a good heart, and if you really do your part by working hard to achieve all your goals and dreams, and I think that you will get part in life, no matter um, what other people think of you. Okay, thank you. Just a little Alisa. So I'm from Swapa Pageant, Mike Philippines. Um, what I wanna, wanted to ask is, being a celebrity, does does it make you um, does it make an advantage for you as a candidate for Miss World Philippines? Um, I think it's an advantage in terms of knowing how to interact with other people in a social setting. But at the same time, it can I guess it can also be uh, a disadvantage because it makes you feel pressure that people expect na oh dapat kung ano siya kasi nagawa niya nyan before. But for me, I really use it as motivation to really work hard and do better in everything that is asked of me. And you just mentioned a while back about uh, women empowerment. So how do you define it, in your own opinion, what a woman empowered is? What empowered woman? Empowered woman. An empowered woman is a woman who celebrates the victories of others as well. Wow. You know, in, in Miss World Philippines, this is an amazing batch. Like, I, I will really tell you that there are amazing women who come from different backgrounds, who have different occupations, and these women are all willing to promote their advocacies because they want to be more engaged in the problems in society right now. And I think that women empowerment is really more about using your voice to help other people and empowering the other women who are with you as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Sir um, French Matias from Pageant Night Philippines, as well as Sir Adam Jagato from Sash Factor. Moving on, we have Miss Edge Tenoria from Pageantology 101. Actually, we have a Twitter question. Okay, what is the most important lesson your mother Almira has taught you? Um, the most important lesson that my mother has taught me is the importance of selflessness. My mom raised me as a single uh, mother. I was raised in a single parent household and I'm so grateful to her because although my, my father didn't help us, she really um, took the responsibility of both a mother and a father. So if there's something that my mom... <laughs> if there's something that I'm so grateful for my mom to have taught me, it's really the importance and value of self -care. Indeed, that's a heartfelt message, actually. Thank you, Ms. Edge Denoria. We have for Voltaire Hello, Hi. My question is a pageant question also. What is your essence of being a beauty queen? I think the essence of being a beauty queen is being 
able to help other people and using the beauty pageant as a platform in order to promote whatever, to promote whatever advocacy you believe in. I think that the essence of being a beauty queen is having a beautiful heart who is always willing to help other people and to always choose selflessness and to always um, choose to be united as one nation in order to promote the common good of the people. What is your thought about karma? Uh, personally, as a Christian, well, you're, we're not supposed to believe in karma, but I do believe that you will really reap what you sow. You know, it's in the, it's in the Bible that you reap what you sow. So if you help other people and if you treat other people with kindness, then I think that it will always return back. Mm. Wow! Uh, what about? Hashtag, hashtag diversity. Um, I think that in, not <laughs> just in terms of racial diversity, but even in diversity when it comes to women who come from different backgrounds, I think that it's beautiful how women who come from single parent households, women who come from um, successful careers, women who want to be in the house and focus on their children, women who choose to do what will make them happy. I think that it's beautiful when we choose to be different from each other. It's, there's always beauty in being different from one another. Thank you. Edge, Edge. Thank you, Sir Walter Lanza from TWSS. We have Miss Lavinia from Peter's of Pageantry. I just want to ask a question that's not really like heavy or um really how much a chat is. So please um let us in or um please share your like styling or your vision for your um for the finals. Because you know we, we we're also very interested with clothes, with makeup, with how you're supposed to present yourself. Because as we know, Miss World has a different profile from the other Pageant. So you have to really take into consideration what they're looking for in terms of styling. So please let us um, in on that. Yes. Um, in terms of the coronation night, well, I, I can't really divulge all the details about my styling for that day. But what I will tell you is that um, I'm very hands-on with the styling for that day from what I will, um, what gown I will wear, even the designer that I chose, what earrings I will wear at the other accessories that I will be wearing po. So, what I can tell you po is that it's really me, like if I'm staying true to myself and that what I will present myself as in the pageant night is really who I am it's, and I'm not thinking it po or trying to be someone else that I'm not. Thank you, Miss Lavinia uh, from Peter's of Pageantry. We have Mr. Alfredo Estevez. Hi, First one was uh, this year we're going to witness uh, the first yeah, transgender yeah. women uh, to compete in the universe. Uh, do you agree with that or uh, do you agree that uh, transgender women will be allowed to enter pageants uh, originally meant for uh, naturally born women? Um, first of all, I want to start off by saying that it's really up to the organization. Like for example, if for the one you're asking for, it's for the Miss Universe organization, so it will depend to them. Secondly, I think that if the organization will accept this change, then I think it's really more of a step forward than a step backwards. Is question down? Okay, so thank you, Mr. Alfredo Estevez. We have Mr. Saudi Catley of BWAD. I'm sorry. Let me go Hello, Alexander. I would like to ask, uh, if you would be given a chance, uh, uh, three wishes, if you would be given a chance to have three wishes for the world that would come true, what would, would it be and why? Okay, um, so if I had three wishes, one, it would be to be able to um, find a cure for cancer, for example. Um, I think that it would be a beautiful thing if we can be able to prolong the lives of these people who have been struck with cancer and so that they also have the opportunity to spend more time with their families. Second, I really hope that we can all choose to be united instead of choosing division over that and I really pray that we will be able to choose solidarity instead of division. And thirdly, I would wish that there would be no child who would be left untaken care of. You know, that's my hope because um, I really hope that all the parents who have brought these children to the world will take full responsibility for their children and raise them in a good way because these children
she'll give us her the best food that I want. Oh, that's her better pass. I like that. Oh, it's for me. Thank you, Sir Saudi, Kathy from DWAB. We have Sir Dale Gregory Sabina from EMP. Uh, hello, good afternoon. Um, I am Dale from the Entertainment News Portal, and I just want to ask, um, what, or uh, what, what is the most essential lesson have you learned from your father? The most important lesson that I have learned from my father is the importance of strength. Um, growing up as an ate, I have two younger sisters, and I really made sure that I would be a strong and a strong ate and a good example to them. I I'm grateful that although I grew up in difficult circumstances, it really helped me to be a stronger and wiser woman now. And I'm grateful to my dad because although he had his fair share of mistakes, I, I still love my dad very much and I will always be here to support him. Thank you very much. One more thing. Um, before I entered media, I am a pageant fan. I, I just want to know how significant are pageant, are pageant fans to a beauty queen like you? Uh, for me, a, a pageant fan is someone who I just, I don't perceive as parang parang lower than me. I treat them as people who are my friends. Like, I treat my Ate Cypress like she's my best friend. Like, I would always uh, message her and call her as in within the day po talaga and not just because I feel like it's required of me but I really treat like today, I, I specifically messaged if not all, most most of you personally because I really want to be able to get the chance to get to know you all better not just based on your pageant blog or um, the platform that you represent but based on who you are I don't want to base your identity because on where you work but it's really more because you're a person you're an individual person who I want to get to know better Perfect! Thank you Sir Dale from ENP <laughs> Moving on we have Glenn Revilla from DWSS Hi, congrats in advance, Alisa. Uh, my question is, who will be your greatest competitor in the pageant? Who among the girls are you considering as a threat to your crown, the crown as Miss World Philippines? I think that there are a lot of strong candidates in Miss World Philippines right now, but in terms of that question, I really think that the biggest competitor of any candidate is herself. Like, for example, for me, it's really myself Sorry. because it's up to me if I want to be able to prove that I deserve the Miss World Philippines crown. So if I want the crown, I need to work hard, do more than what is asked of me, and do my best in order to deserve the Miss World Philippines crown. Uh, what is your chances or percent for getting the blue crown if you're going to be the Miss World Philippines? If you're a winner or if you become the winner of Miss World Philippines, so are you willing to be the next Megan Young? Yes, I want to be the next Megan Young. I claim it <laughs> that I will be. I will be taking home the Miss World crown. I think that I have what it takes to be the Miss World 2018 representative um, in Sanya China for Sanya China for Miss World Philippines, and I think that I will be able to show them that I really will strive to embody what it means to have beauty with a purpose. Thank you very much Thank you. for wonderful Thank you. answers. Thank you. All right, thank you, Sir Glenn Ravinia from DWSS. Again, we have Sir Adam Genato from Sash Factor, or Genato. Hi, Hi Genato. You said a while ago that you, you joined Miss World Philippines to help improve the lives of children. Having said that, um, what do you think is the most pressing issue our current, the youth or our current generation is facing right now? I think that the most important issue that our generation is facing right now, well, in terms of children, since my advocacy is really more about children, boys, is uh, child abuse. I think that we have been um, turning a blind side on that very important issue here in the Philippines. I think we need to give more importance to raising children and giving them a better environment, being able to give them and provide them with good education and be able to teach them the values that they will also pass on to the next generation. So that's what we can answer. I see. Um, my second question is, um, you you are one of the girls who have a very strong presence on social media right now. How do you think social media could help propel or help 
Um, I can't wait to see like your Cinemas World Philippines. Um, I took up marketing in college and we really learned that right now it's really a digital era so it's very important because you know, uh, Beauty Queen is a brand herself. So it's really not just um, other brands, like for example, commodities, but it's really promoting yourself and showing to other people what values you embody and what you believe in. And I think that the social media would play a role in that because, you know, your social media account will show who you are as a person, what you value, and um, what are your passions in life. I see. Um, my third question is... Um, you know, Miss Ro, um, kapatid ni Aga. No, Miss World, Philip, no, Miss, you know, uh, Miss World has already removed its, um, swim swim segment of the competition. And recently, Miss America organization has followed suit. How, how do you feel about these pageants, um, Removing the swimsuit segment of the competition. Do you think this is one way of of these pageants addressing this issue as a sign of women empowerment? I really think that it's amazing how these pageants have um, stepped up and really told themselves that no, this is the end of it. Like we're not going to objectify women anymore, and we're not going to say that their worth is based on their vital stats. So I think that other beauty pageants should also follow in, in these beauty pageants footsteps because I think that we should really learn to prioritize true beauty which will really come from who you are as a person, what your values are and I think that you know it's really better if you get to know the girl more rather than just stare at her body and say that you know she should win because her body is like this. I think it's there's really more to a woman than just her body. I see. My last question is, as I said earlier, that you have a love life right now. If you were to ask a hypothetical question, true love or Miss World Philippines crown? I was actually asked this already before. I already said that I would choose the Miss World Philippines crown. I think that winning the Miss World Philippines crown is really being able to help thousands, not just hundreds, but thousands of people. So if I had the opportunity to help other people, and especially thousands of people, I would definitely choose that over one person <laughs> instead. Okay, thank you. Okay, I have a question. From the I have a question from my uh, from mother, from Amira. From Miss Amira, na may wait lang sa tapos ng mother. Mother, mother. mother Amira. So ni mga ano? I mean, uh, pinaka uh, um, message yung mga kay Alisa. Now she's joining the Miss World Philippines. Oh, kasi kaya nakaipon na titi super tier ay kaya nyo pa. Yung proud proud kita. Oh, kita kita sa mga matay yung pin how proud. Well, I've always been telling, uh, I call her Lisa. Uh, uh, I'll be supporting her 110% with whatever she wants to do in life. So now that she, uh, she went into this beauty pageant, I support her and I always tell her to, to always be professional because that's how we are as a family, the Mulong family. Uh, Pinalaki po kami na lagi yung sinasabi ng tita Amanda ko or ng dad ko as a producer na we should always be professional and to treat people uh, fairly. So, yun yung lagi kong advice sa kanil. Alright, so thanks again Sir Adam Janato of Smash Factor. Factor and Madge from Pageantology 101. Miss Edge. Okay, so moving on we have Edmund, Edmund Chan. Or two or rather from Fab Manila. Okay, sir so Nobi. Hello, hello. Okay, pal up question lang na Anita. Okay, uh na pagkita ni no ni Norman si Katarina. No? So Katarina was a former national title holder. Now she's trying her uh, to another national uh PD pageant. Uh, if you will win one of the titles of this work, uh, then after you win, is there a possibility that you will be joining another national As of now, I really haven't uh, thought about it yet because if there's a beauty passion that I believe in, it's really Miss World Philippines and Miss World. So I really haven't thought about it yet. 
because I really want to focus on Miss World Philippines first. And I'm the type of person who focuses on one thing and makes sure that I achieve my goals in this specific um, platform that I chose for. Yes, one at a time. Thank you, Sir Nolly Burgoso, OBMB. We have Sir Norman Tino from normannorman.com. Okay, that's a good thing. I will make my own. I'm going to have a question for your father, who is going to be Mrs. Philippines. Mrs. Philippines, yeah. Almina, you've been watching your daughter for the past 20 years. So, doing the question and answer. Honestly, how do you assess her QA skills right now? Actually, I am really in awe and hearing all her answers to all your questions. Uh, I'm just so proud of her. And I would say that she will be the way in the question and answer. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, what's up? Now you're the one learning from your God. Yes, I know, right? For 2020, this is Philippines going. <laughs> Thank you, Sir Norman Norman. We have again Mr. Edmond Chua from Sab Manila. For the first time. You, as a person, if, and if you also get to know me better, you will really be able to tell that I deserve the Miss World Crown. <laughs> make sure to live my life with a purpose. I, I used to ask myself, you know, I've been through so many things growing up, and I used to ask God, like, Lord, why? Why me of all the children in the world? Why did I have to go through all, the, all of those things? And when I grew up, I realized that it really matters how you grow up because it teaches you a lot of values along the way. The things that I grew up, the things that I had to go through while I was growing up taught me the importance of determination, the importance of strength, the importance of perseverance, the importance of grit, the, important, the importance of kindness, and the importance of respect. And I think that I will always be grateful because if I didn't grow up in those difficult circumstances, I would not be the woman that I am today. Thank you. Um, I, you know what, like what I said earlier, I, I'm sorry if it will really sound cliche, but I don't really look at who I'm competing against, but it's really more of myself. Like, when I attend each event of Miss World Philippines, I'm not focused on, shucks, ano kaya gagawin ni ano today, or what will, what will they bring to the table today? It's really more of what I can bring to the table and what I'm going to do to prove that I deserve the Miss World Crown. I What is your biggest mistake and what have you done to correct it? Um, I, you know, I'm an, imper I'm an imperfect person and I've committed a lot of mistakes. But I think that my mistakes have taught me a lot of things. And I think that the past, like the things that you've done in the past should be treated as a guide to how you can make better decisions in the future. So I'm thankful because of those mistakes. Because if it weren't for those, then I wouldn't be the smarter and wiser woman that I am today. You're very, very smart. Alright, thank you, Sir Sandy Kathy from DWAD. But of course, without discounting the fact that we have the top caliber photographer from Top Manila, Mr. Edmund Chua. Moving on, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to call on Mr. Dion Bessa from Ground Philippines. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. Okay, so we have Mr. Alfredo Estevez. grew up in a family where my uh, brother is mentally challenged through to substance abuse. So now the government are uh, putting up facilities for mental institution for rehabilitation for you. Are, uh, for you. Uh, should they be admitted on mental institution or community-based at home, living with their family, despite the hardship that we uh, bear living with uh, people with that condition? I think that it really, it really depends on the person. I have met people who were able to recover and who were able to um, get better through um, healing at home or community-based, if that's what it's called. And I've also met people who have been healed better in mental, in mental health institutions. So I think it really depends. But at the end of the day, I think it's very important to share the message that the people who feel like, you know, that you feel like you need to get your, you need to, um, you need to um, not not be ashamed of what you're going through and really seek help. That's what I'm trying to say. You need to seek help if you know that you need help and if you feel like your friend needs help or other people around you. It's very important to encourage others to not be ashamed and to always seek help when they need help. Take the turn of Fred as the best. We have um, Errol Redilia from DWDD. Mr. Errol Redilia. Okay, uh, moving on, we have Mr. Chad Solis from FAP, or Manila Field, rather. Hi, hey, Alisa, good afternoon, I'm Chad. So my question is, uh, if you win the Miss World Philippines crown, what would this mean to you? Um, winning the Miss World Philippines crown is really not just about myself, it's really being able to help other people and being able to promote my advocacy. My advocacy is Gentle Health Incorporated, so I'm helping them work towards improving the lives of these children who feel like their past will define their future. I want to be able to empower these children and remind them that, you know, in the past, it's, it should stay in the past and you should always make sure that you work hard and do your best to achieve all your goals because you can achieve all of your dreams as long as you put your heart and mind into it. My next question is, um, since I observe that you're very articulate, right, so, uh, right now, but uh, congratulations uh, for you and good luck. My question is, if you're going to talk to Anissa, what is your message to your son right now? Mirror. Um, I would tell Alisa to, to continue working hard and to stay strong and to believe that no matter how tired she is, that everything will be worth it in the end and that you will always reap what you sow and the Lord knows what you are doing and how much you've been working hard in order to deserve this crown. And just keep doing your best and let God do the rest. Oh, oh. And how about to your parents and your supporters? Parang kong message Generally, uh, well, I want to thank not just my parents and my sisters and my family and my relatives and also my supporters. Thank you so much for all of their support. I'm so, 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 so grateful. Like every day, I always tell Ate Sai na I'm so overwhelmed by the amount of support that I've been receiving and I, I really wish to make them all proud. Thank you, Alisa. All right, thank you, Sir Chad Solis from Manila Feed. We have again, Dion Bessa from Crown Philippines. Uh, if you win this world Philippines, how are you going to intensify the beauty with the world trust? Um, if I were to win Miss World Philippines, I would I would focus on beauty with a purpose by promoting my advocacy, which is gentle hands. I think that my advocacy is not the only one that focuses on child abuse. There are a lot more organizations in the Philippines who deal with this problem in society nowadays. So I will really use this platform in order to to push for the rights of children and to be able to empower these children that they can achieve what they want. They deserve to be prioritized and that they deserve to feel valued. So that's what I would do as Miss World Philippines. Thank you. Thank you, Dion Bessa from Crown Philippines.
we have again Walter Yanza from DWSS. Five best things about me. Okay, um, number one, I'm always committed to being a well-rounded person. So I, I make sure that I not, not only, I do not only succeed in my studies, but also in my extracurricular activities. And I make sure to spend quality time with my family. So second is that um, I really love to sing, and it's because of my love for music. Yes, I will sing for later. <laughs> and um, because of my passion for music, I also actually know how to play the guitar and the piano. Um, third, third, I really, 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 really love my little sisters. Well, they're not really little anymore, but I treat them as my little sisters. I'm so proud of my sisters and what they have accomplished. My, um, my, one of my sisters is currently um, studying for the NMA. She wants to be a doctor. And my second sister owns a business in her school. So I'm so proud of her because although they're younger, they're really um, um, aiming for the biggest dreams and goals in life. And for what third, uh, fourth, um, I'm so, I am so happy that because of the things that I've been through growing up, it really helped me become a person who others can relate to. I don't see myself as above other people. I really make sure that I treat other people with kindness, um, respect, and equality at all times because we are all equal. And lastly, Rabbi, you don't want to say things about yourself. <laughs> lastly, um, lastly, I'm really, really um, passionate about helping other people, especially children who grew up in the same difficult circumstances like me. I, I, I love having the opportunity to talk to other children who also grew up in, in environments that I, I grew up in because I want to be able to share with them my experiences and share with them that, you know, I use it as a motivation to be a better person and I used it as an inspiration to to be able to become a, a woman who who embodies strength and character? Last one question is, what is your talk about gender equality? Gender equality in, ter in terms of what? Like, just generally speaking. You know, a lot of people think that feminism is about, um, is about um, saying that women are above men, but I think that feminism is just really about the eradication of the gender notion that women should only do certain things or that men should act a certain way. I think that gender equality is really about treating both genders with respect at all times and to always treat them equally, no matter um, what their gender is. Thank you. All right, so thank you everyone. So last three questions from our pageant uh, friends. So we have, of course, Prior to that, would like to call on Mr. Ian Perlayagan, Mr. Philippines International 27 or 2007, for a question. Hi, hello, Alisa. Um, you know what? I know your dad is a Ilocano, so I'm a Ilocano too. Um, is there a possibility that your father attend the formation night? Yes, my dad will definitely attend the formation night. He already reserved right. tickets over <laughs> Nice. Sounds good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. Ian. So, last two question we have RV Kabat Kabachete. If did I pronounce it correctly? From EMP. Um, hello, Lisa. Uh, so, um, if given a chance uh, um, to ask one of your father um, now, uh, what would you do? Right. If I were to ask my father one question right now, it would be... Wow, it's like the hardest question today. Uh, I would ask him uh, if he's proud of me. I want to be able to ask my dad if 
he's proud of me, even if I'm not in the sports industry. Because you know what, we're three girls, so none of us have pursued, you know, a sport. So I will really ask him if, if he's proud of me and if I feel if he feels like I have done my part to to be the best athlete to my younger sisters, and if I have become the best daughter that I could be. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Arvin from ENP. Last but not the least, would like to call on the top caliber pageant blogger, no less than Sir Norman Tino. I really want to put you on the spot, Alisa. I, I don't think you want to say the answers to see it. It's a follow-up question. You know, achievement for the young. Hindi mo pa na napagtanong si Erin yung show ng question. <laughs> so, I'll follow up on his question. I will rephrase the question so that it will come easier for you. If the situation is that you're already assured of the Miss World Philippines crowd, the situation that you have, okay, go down Miss World Philippines crowd, and you have the power to bring with you three other girls to be raiders for the Americana Filipinas, Miss Echo International, and Miss Multinational Philippines. Which three girls do you think, or what kind of girls do you think you would love to work with and spend your raids with? So, mas magaliin ko yan. So, Choose from the KF girls. Okay. Um, if I had to bring three girls with me, I would choose. Oh, sorry to the other KF girls, but just, yeah, like based on who I'm close to, na lang. So I would choose Chanel Morales. You know, Chanel and I have been training together, and I feel like she's really doing her part to um, do do well in Miss World. The second candidate I would bring is Geraldine Rodriguez because Geraldine is very smart. Ipa plug siya ngayon. She um, she graduated accountancy and she's a law student and she's a very smart girl talaga. So I think that it would be good to to send a smart girl abroad. And my last one would be very so hard. I would bring Polina Labayo with me. I you know Polina's Trina's also very smart, and I really love that she's a ballerina. Like, it's my biggest frustration in life to be a ballerina. So you think she's your toughest competitor in talent? Yes! Polina's very good po talaga. She, she trained with Lysi Mokua, and right now, I, if I'm not mistaken, she's training kids as well under the Lysi Mokua um, organization. Okay. Meron pa sana ng one final question, pero alam ko mahirapan ka doon. I won't put you on the spot anymore because that's really a hard question what I'm thinking of. I'm reserving for my video interview. Oh my God! <laughs> Alright, thanks for your norm, Antinio. Do we have any more questions? Pageant of media partners? Friends? 